I came to Baylor and my sister and brother were both enrolled here and I, I decided I liked what I heard, liked what I saw, what I experienced uh, in general and I decided that I would like to go to, to Baylor. The uh, problem was I left a year and a half of high school and uh, though I later took some courses from the Marine Corps Institute to make up for high school deficiencies, um, that still wasn't enough to get me in. But my sister, Ann Miller, she became, uh, her husband was chairman of the political science department later on. But Ann was very persuasive, and when she made up her mind, uh, it it probably was going to happen. Uh, and she had serious talks with with the administration, and because her record was outstanding and my brother's record was outstanding, uh, they allowed me to come on probation, and I had to take a number of tests and. My sister gave me one I will never forget in English uh, proficiency. I had to pass it in order to uh, enroll in an English uh, for credit uh, class. And so she sat me down on a hard bench in Patton F. Hall and drilled me over all of the rules of grammar. She was an English major, by the way, and, and sure enough, I passed. Uh, barely did, because in four years I couldn't have told you a, uh, an infinitive from center field. There was my sister who chose every professor I had initially. She made certain that uh, the kind of person I wanted to meet, should meet, uh, would be the one I, I studied under. and. Um, they were just wonderful to me. You uh, mentioned your sister Anne uh, a little bit earlier, Anne, Anne Vardaman Miller, who, like you, was a master teacher. She was, I guess, the first or second master teacher. She had with the first two. Um, how was her style similar to yours, and how was it different? I'm not sure. We never asked each other. Really? No, you don't believe that, but we never asked each other. We never talked about any technique at all. And you never watched her teach her, I mean, you experienced her teaching oh, a little yeah, bit. Oh, yeah, I mean, I've heard her speak. Right. And she's riveting. Um, she lived it. If she'd read a poem, she, she was part of the poem. Um, she, she lived and breathed poetry and short stories. She taught them both. At Baylor. Um, we sent each other a lot of students. My first class was almost strictly recruited by her in English history. And the result was I had one of the finest classes I ever had. I never had a class surpass the first one I taught at Baylor in the fall of 1967 because she chose about 20 plus students, and gosh, what a feast, the exchanges. The... Was there something in the way that the two of you were raised, do you think, that, that led to two master teachers from the same family? Well, as uh, David Garland said, when my sister, we had a, a memorial service in Browning, uh, a library, and somebody mentioned that there were two master teachers. David Garland, who was in the audience, stood up and said there were three. My brother Jerry was a professor at Southwestern and then the Southern Seminary, where he had David Garland as a student. He said, I would put, he just interrupted and said, I would put a third Vardaman in that category. He was the professor for me. He, and he went on, and I thought, well, okay. I, uh, 
Jerry later became a professor of archaeology at Mississippi State. After he, he died after he retired. There. All my siblings are dead. Um, I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. Uh, if I, my, my life depended on it. No idea. Your sister passed away, and passed yeah. away about 10 years ago yeah. um, this month. And I'm wondering what you miss most about her. Just having her and being able to pick up the phone and say a word to her. Just having her around. She was a magnificent cook. I mean, tops. And I enjoyed dropping by. <laughs> um, but I, she's somebody I could talk to on a plane that was very high or very, very moderate. Talk about anything. Um, well, we could talk about my mother. I never knew my father. He died before I was born. Sixteen days. But she didn't remember him either. But anyway, we used to talk about our mother. And uh, I just, she loved poetry and I loved poetry. She taught me a lot of poetry, even in high school. Uh, Do you have a particular favorite? What's that? Do you have a particular favorite? Poem? Poet? Oh, I like Robert Burns. I'll quote you one of his poems, very short. It's called John Anderson. This very elderly lady is looking at her very elderly husband. He doesn't know it. She's just observing him. And she begins to think over their life. And she says to him, John Anderson. Anderson is a very, very, very common Scottish name for the very simple reason that St. Andrew is the patron saint. Right. And Anderson is simply son of Andrew. Joe means my sweetheart, my love. Your joy is, is it for you. And she says, John Anderson, looking at him, my Joe, John, when we were first acquainted, your locks were like the raven, your bunny brow was brent, dark. But now, your brow is bald, John. Your locks are like the snow. Blessings on your frosty pow. John Anderson, my Joe. John Anderson, my Joe, John. We climb the hill together. And many a happy day, John, we had with one another. But now we must totter down, John, and hand in hand we'll go and sleep together at the foot. John Anderson, not Joe.